Hi, I'm Steve Jordan, the executive chef at the Sand Pearl Resort. Coretta on the Gulf is our four diamond signature restaurant. Uh, the seasonally inspired food uh, with a focus on organics, uh, fresh, the freshest of seafood and all natural meats and steroid free meats. Uh, we offer fresh sushi and if you come to Florida you can't you can't come without having a fresh piece of grouper. So the dish I'm going to feature today is a pan seared grouper with fingerling potatoes, roasted beets, fava beans and baby artichokes. This dish is very simple. I'm just going to pan sear it. I'm going to season salt and pepper and I'm always going to start and sear the sear the pretty side. Every fish has a pretty side and an ugly side. And I'm just going to go ahead and get that in a nice hot pan. What's good about this dish is I'm not going to move it, I'm not going to shake it. I'm just going to leave it in the pan and get a nice crisp, crisp brown edge on it. Once that gets nice and brown, I'm going to go right into a hot oven, 350 degrees, until it's, till it's done. In another pan, what I have is I have some fingerling potatoes. I blanched these off and I squashed them. I call them crushed fingerling potatoes. With this, I'm just going to pan fry these same in some blended oil and make them nice and crispy. They'll be like a great French fry. Now the grouper's starting to get a little color and you can see a little color under the grouper. I'm gonna go just one more minute and then I'm gonna go right into a hot oven. Okay, for my vegetables, I'm gonna use grapeseed oil because it's really light. I can get away with using less and it's not gonna overpower my fresh vegetables. I have some baby artichokes, some roasted golden beets, and the fava beans. I'm gonna give those a quick saute. I'm gonna season it with sea salt and a little bit of black pepper. And then I'm gonna throw my ramps in, my baby spring onions, and we'll give those a toss and warm those up. So those are going right there. My fingerling potatoes are nice and brown and I'm gonna drain them into a bowl with some paper towel to get rid of some of the ex extra grease. But I want a little bit of the oil so that fresh chives and the salt and the peppers stick, adhere and stick to the potatoes. My veggies are working and now I'm just gonna finish up my grouper. The grouper in the oven, watch out, the handle will be hot, but you can tell what's great about this process, you can see the fat coming out of the grouper. So you can tell it's done and you, won't, you don't have to cut in it to see that. Now with the final touch with the grouper, I'm gonna throw a little bit of thyme, some garlic, and it, it wouldn't be good without a, a lot of butter. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna melt that butter and I'm gonna baste the back of the fish. So we're just adding layers of flavor into that grouper. Herbs and garlic and butter. My fingerling potatoes go on the plate. I have my fresh vegetables, the favas, the beets, and then here is my grouper. And I'm gonna flip the grouper over and show the pretty side. And I have a beautiful pan seared grouper. I'm gonna garnish with a couple more ramps. And there is a simple pan seared grouper with fingerling potatoes and organic vegetables.